There is nothing better than a sweet little nap, but can we be napping better? Joining us on Skype is Dr. Sarah Mednick, assistant psychology professor at UC Riverside and author of Take a Nap, Change Your Life. She was recently featured in Oh! The Oprah Magazine article, Sleep Better from A to Z's. So Dr. Mednick, what's a surprising fact about naps that most people probably don't know? Well, the surprising thing about naps is that you can get all the benefits from a 90 minute nap um, same kind of benefits as you get from a full night of sleep. And the reason for this is because in a 90 minute nap, you go through all of the major sleep stages, which is stage two sleep, slow wave sleep and REM sleep. And that's of course, if you're getting a good night of sleep every night as well. And so in a 90 minute nap, you're gonna get the benefits of uh, increased attention, memory consolidation, um, cardiovascular improvements, uh, decreased depression, and also um, better metabolism. Well, a 90-minute nap sounds great. Do you recommend that everyone take these naps? You know, I recommend that everybody try. Uh, it's not necessarily for everyone. Some people, when they wake up from a nap, they feel great, while other people feel like they just got hit by a train. And the reason is because um, they wake up from something called slow-wave sleep, which is very difficult to wake up out of, and so they feel very groggy. So for those people, I recommend that they take about 10 to 15 minute naps. That'll allow you to have a lot of stage two sleep, which is really important for memory and health. I um, mean, it has this sleep feature called sleep spindles, which are very good for memory consolidation, motor performance, and alertness. So depending on our schedules, and I know we're all busy, we may not be able to fall asleep right away, would we miss out on the benefits of napping if we don't go to sleep for, say, at least 20 minutes? Well, we're not very good at detecting when we're going to sleep. So even if we're lying there for about 20 minutes and we think that we haven't been sleeping, it's quite likely that you actually have gotten some sleep. It happens all the time in the lab that students will wake up and say, oh, sorry, I didn't get any sleep and, you know, all this stuff for nothing, and then we actually got a good 20 minutes of sleep. So because you're not so good at detecting it, just lying down and taking a break is gonna be really great to recover from some of the mental and physical exertion that we have during the day. And just think of the fact that you know meditation, which is not sleep, has some of the great benefits of sleep as well. So just taking a break is going to be good. We all need to rest. So what's the best time of day to take a nap? Usually it's around six hours after you wake up. Um, and this is the time when you're going to have a decrease in your circadian drive and an increase in sleep um, sleepiness. So it's this mid slump in the middle of the day, midday slump, where you're going to have a decrease in your core body temperature, in your cognitive processing, and you're just going to get a little sleepy. That's a perfect time to take a break. So with everyone's busy personal and professional lives, do you recommend that we all take a nap every day? Not really. I mean, it's, you know, the most important thing is that you nap where it suits your schedule. Because if you're trying to nap every day, you're gonna get anxious about it. The last thing you wanna do is get anxious about your nighttime sleep or your nap time sleep. So what I recommend is three naps a week of 20 minutes each. And that's gonna give you all the benefits to health and cognition. Um, and then every now and again, you throw in this kind of perfect nap, which is the 90 minute nap where you go through all the different sleep stages. And then that's really gonna outfit you with every, everything you need from napping. Uh-oh, I think I'm sleep deprived. Thank you, Dr. Mednick. We've got more tips on improving your health and living your best life. Just pick up the latest issue of Oh! The Oprah Magazine on newsstands everywhere, including your tablet.